Hello and welcome to Mental Resurrection, Unleashing the Mental Alchemist Within. Uh, I am Issachar Bay and I am the Senior Director and the Founder of the Temple of Enlightenment International Spiritual Center. And I want to thank all of you for tuning in to this program today. Uh, I'm excited about your future. I'm excited about the possibilities, the potential. I'm, I'm excited about what's coming better than what's been. I believe that you have within you the ability to be, to do, and to have all that your heart desires. And it is in our intention that these lessons, these precepts, these golden nuggets, that at some point you will be able to use and, and begin to practice, put into practice, put into motion the things that you've learned throughout these weeks and also the weeks to come that we will be able to expand your horizon, expand your territory, expand your level of consciousness that you will be able to go to be, to do, and to have all that you wish, hope, and desire. I want to welcome you. Um, those of you who are listening in, please like and share. Please like, share, and also uh, if you haven't done so, subscribe to our channel so that you can be notified every time we uh, release a new teaching or any time we release anything new. Uh, please like and share. Uh, it does help us out. It does help us with the algorithms. And so we, we do appreciate that. Um, we are excited about this uh, season that we're in at this moment. Um, this year has... Uh, spent off very quickly. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, we just entered into the year 2024, and already we're at the end of January, and it's just amazingly uh, uh, very ironic how fast the year is moving already. And so with that being said, I feel like we have a lot of work to accomplish. We have a lot of things to do, and um, it's it's imperative that we all are uh, in the right place at the right time, doing the right thing, connecting to the right people so that we can unite and be able to move into this next plateau, this next dimension of our lives. And so I'm excited about your future. I believe that the best way to predict the future is to create it. And that's what we believe here at the Temple of Enlightenment International Spiritual Center. We believe that we have the ability to create our own reality. That, that we don't have to accept what somebody else told us. We don't have to accept what somebody else gives us or tells us that it is. But we can create our lives. We can create our tomorrows at any given moment. At any given moment in time, we can create what tomorrow brings. We can create what next week brings. And so it is our honor, it is our privilege to present this platform for those who want to take the initiative and begin to create and unfold their destiny and their uh, purpose in life. Remember, we no longer are going to sit in the audience, but we're going to get on stage and begin to now serve humanity with our gifts and our talents. For the next moment remaining before us, I want to take the moment and I want to have a center, if we can, for a moment as we get ready to move into this spiritual mind treatment. I do spiritual mind treatments because I believe that as you center your mind, as you center your thoughts, as you center your emotions, it brings us into a place where we can open ourselves up to, to really hear and to really adhere to what's being said. We can, we can position ourselves to, to begin to intertwine, to inwardly grasp, and become one with divine mind and begin to tap into source so that we can listen with our spiritual ear and we can see with our spiritual eye what's being said at this particular moment and this particular season. As you take a deep breath, inhale and exhale. Again, take another deep breath, inhale and exhale. One more time, inhale and exhale. 
I'm going to go through this spiritual mind treatment as you close your eyes and just meditate on the words and just sink into what I'm saying and as I'm moving in spirit. In the realm of infinite possibilities, I recognize and affirm the presence of the divine intelligence that is permeating all creation. This divine intelligence, which is the creative force behind everything, is always seeking to express itself in the highest form. In this moment, I turn my attention to the idea of mental ascension. I know and understand that mental ascension is the process of elevating our thoughts and consciousness to a higher level of understanding and awareness. It is a journey of expanding our minds and aligning ourselves with the divine wisdom that flows through us. I release any limiting beliefs or thoughts that may hinder my mental ascension. I let go of any doubts or fears that may have held me back in the past. I affirm that I am open and receptive to the infinite possibilities that exist within me and around me. I affirm that my mind is a sacred space where divine ideas are born. I recognize that I have the power to choose my thoughts and beliefs, and I choose to cultivate thoughts of love, peace, and abundance. I affirm that my thoughts are in alignment with the highest truth of my being. I declare that I am constantly growing and expanding in consciousness, I am willing to let go of old patterns and old patterns of thinking that no longer serve me. And I embrace new insights and understandings that lead to my mental ascension. I am open to receiving divine guidance and inspiration, knowing that it will guide me towards my highest good. I affirm that I ascend mentally. I am also ascending spiritually. I recognize that my spiritual growth and my mental ascension are interconnected. And as I deepen my connection with the divine, my understanding expands and my consciousness elevates. I am grateful for the process of mental ascension, for it is through this journey that I discover my true nature and purpose. I am grateful for the wisdom and teaching of those who have walked this path before me, and I honor their contribution to my growth. I release this spiritual mind treatment into the universal law, knowing that it is already done. I trust that as I continue to align my thoughts and beliefs with the truth of my being, I will experience a greater sense of mental ascension and spiritual growth. And so it is, and so it is. I want to thank you for tuning in. Those of you, if you're just tuning in, uh, please like, share, and also subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so. If this is your first time with us, my name is Isakar Bay once again, and I am the founder and the spiritual director of the Temple of Enlightenment International Spiritual Center. And uh, we want to thank you for being a part of this program today. We want to thank you for tuning in. I uh, hope that you guys are really enjoying this program and that you're really getting something out of it. It, it really is uh, a great teaching that I myself feel like I'm on this journey uh, to where my mind is being expanded to a new level, to a new dimension. Uh, and I'm excited about the future. I'm excited about what's coming. I believe that what's coming is always going to be better than what's been. And as we get ready to move into this great level, I want to talk today about the nine secret levels of mental ascension. Now, for the next weeks, I want to be discussing this. We, we're going to be teaching on this. Today, we're starting with level one, but but understand that there's, there's 
there's nine secret levels of mental ascension. And and as we get ready to move into these higher levels of mind, we're going to be discussing the concept, the principles. We're, we're going to be we're going to be understanding the 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 levels of ascension and how it resonates. How is it going to affect us? How will these nine levels allow me to move into a new uh, plateau, a new level of purpose and destiny? What happens here, listen, my friend, when we finish with these nine levels of ascension, your life will never be the same anymore because you will not look at things the same way you looked at them before because once the mind expands, it can never go back to its original place. It, it can never go back to its original place. Once the mind expands, it, it can never go back to its original place. Never. It can never do that. And so we we are excited about your future. Uh, 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 we're excited because we believe that you will be able to manifest the things that you want to manifest, that you understand the, 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 the work, the journey that you're about to embark on, that, that, that we are moving and growing on and that we are extending on and that we are connecting with. And so we, we're excited about that. Listen, when we talk about mental extent, mental ascension, what we are talking about is the process of elevating one consciousness, expanding one's awareness, and, and experience personal growth on a mental and a spiritual level. See, in order for you to change your life, you've got to elevate. Elevation is not a physical thing. See, everybody wants elevation. Everybody wants to go to the next level. But you don't realize that the next level is not something of a physical ramification. The next level is of the spiritual dynamic. And so if I'm going to shift my level of consciousness, my life shifts. So when you talk about you want to upgrade, the upgrade happens on the spiritual level first. It has to happen in mind first. Let this mind be in you that was also in Christ Jesus. Mind, M-I-N-D, the mind is the most powerful thing that we have. It, it is a secret weapon that, I, that, that, that we call it. It is the most powerful, uh, intricate thing that man possesses is to have total control over his mind. When, when we talk about mental ascension, we talk about it, it involves transcending the limited thinking, it, expanding uh, your perspectives, um, and, and then also it's, it's often connects to a level of development, self-development, introspection, um, and the pursuit of wisdom and knowledge, right? It, is, it involves us going to deeper aspects of ourselves, right? Questioning maybe existing beliefs or assumptions. Also, it allows us to move into uh, uh, what I call the ability to create the nature of reality. See, see, when you are operating on the law of ascension, the, the mental ascension, right, you, you understand that you start learning the nature of reality because the nature of reality, listen, everything starts from within. As within, so without. Um, if you're listening, please, everybody, type, put this in the chat. As within, so without. As within, so without. In order for me to have anything without on the outside or in the outer realm or in the physical manifestation, I must first have it in the spiritual realm. As within, so without. The journey of mental ascension is, 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 is something that everybody in everyone can participate in. Uh, th this is not something that's just for, you know, those people over there, or maybe this is something for uh, those people who, are, who, ha who have this or who don't have that. No, no, this is not a, you know, by, by you know, speculation or 
it's for you but not for him. No, it, it doesn't it doesn't move like that. This, this extension will allow any and everybody who wants to partake of it, who wants to step into it and begin to utilize and begin to operate in this will begin to understand it and begin to move into every aspect of their lives. I believe from the ph- philosophy, the psychology, your spirituality, it, it will begin to give you levels of discipline that that will begin to 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 shape shift shape shift your reality. You begin to mold and shift your reality into what you want it to be. Uh, the process of mental ascension is, is 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 where you begin to start looking at your perception, your values, what what you what you look at as important pro- properties, prioritizing right. Um, is where you become aware of your thoughts, your emotions, your behaviors, uh, where you begin to develop the ability to observe them without judgment. See, we're 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 starting on level one. And when we begin to start on level one, we're coming on the foundational level, right? The the first level of mental ascension is probably one of the most important because it is the foundational level, right? The the more you become open minded, the more you become receptive to new ideas, the more you'll be willing to change your existing beliefs and perspectives. Listen, it, it's not enough to, you know, uh, to say, you know what, I, I want to try to operate in this, in these levels of mental ascension. It's not enough to say it, but to be a doer uh, is, is more important. Faith comes by works being dead alone. So it's not just about, you know, I can say it, I can, uh, you know, and write it, but you have to be a doer of it. You have to work with it and begin to put in the work. And so when we look at this, we have to be willing to to be transparent. We have to be willing to be adaptable, which means that I can I cannot be cemented into my own thoughts of how I was raised, on how things used to be when I was growing up, but I can transcend to new and existing beliefs and perspectives. Mental mental ascension is a continuous journey that unfolds over time. Listen, these things that we're learning, these are not things that we just read this Sunday and then we just don't talk about it no more until five, six years from now. Everything that we're learning, these are things that we need to keep in our repertoire, that we keep the constant practice, constantly working with for all humanity, right? We need to constantly be working with these, and then as we master them, because listen, this is what we do. We learn it, we work with it, and we we come it. So 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 we're, we're going to learn these nine secret levels of of mental ascension. We're going to work with those nine laws. And then guess what we're going to do? We're going to become the laws. So we're going to learn it. We're going to walk it. We're going to practice it. But then we're going to become it. And that 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 is our end goal, to become. Why? Because you never get out of life what you want. You only get out of life what you become. Mental co- ascension is a continuous journey. It, which means that we're not so much looking at the end goal. We're not so much looking at the destination. We're more concerned about our journey. Um, I'm pretty sure everybody on this call, no matter what age you are, um, everybody on this call can tell us about their journey from where they were to where they are now. And some of the stories may not be that great. Some of the stories may be wonderful. But when you look back over your life and look at your journey, you realize that a lot of the things you went through are what made you who you are today, what got you to the place that you are now. And guess what also? What didn't kill you also made you stronger. I've always believed that 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 you never know how strong your tea bag is until it's placed in hot water. And so many of us, we understand life is a journey. And and as we continue to move and we continue to grow and evolve, we will continue into 
developing and expanding in this process of mental ascension. It gives us the opportunity to cultivate a deeper sense of ourselves, right, to where we can find inner peace, fulfillment, and and then all and then also um, to be transformative, right, uh, which involves you looking at yourself in a different perspective. See. When you start operating from inside out, that's where the magic is. And and and, and I'm so glad. I, I'm going to get a little uh, deep here today. We're probably going to go into some things that's probably going to be like, what is he talking about? But if I had to talk about the first level of mental ascension, uh, the first level to me would 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 deal with the level of you being able to, number one, when you when you are in the level, the first level of mental ascension, you're in a process of building. You're in a process of bringing together. This is the process that has to do with you and you alone. This in this level of mental ascension. You are getting, you are worrying about you. This is not about the family. This is not about your spouse. This is not about your parents. This is not about the business. This is not about your job. This is about you. This is about you getting yourself in position, right? Getting yourself in position, getting yourself in the right place. Uh, this is a time for you to to move into a level of of building this is a building this is a building level of ascension it's one of the most important because what you're building is a foundation you're building a foundation upon which the other levels of mental ascension will begin to be built on top of so so if you're going to build something you want to make sure that your foundational level so so your foundational level must be built which means that at this level, level one, you want to make sure that you operate in mental leadership. If you're if you're listening to this, please type in the in the chat. Mental leadership. What is mental leadership? Mental leadership is you having the ability to lead your thoughts. Woo! I don't know if you got that. Oh my God! Mental leadership is you being able to lead your thoughts. Listen to this. This is deep. Not allowing your thoughts to lead you, but you are in total control and you are leading your thoughts. You're a leader. So in in the first level of mental ascension, you learn how to become a mental leader. How do I lead my thoughts? How do I get my thoughts to respect me to follow my lead? Because I am the leader of my thoughts, my thoughts no longer lead me. See, this right here is really mental resurrection at its best. Because you, you, when you move into mental leadership, you are now controlling your thoughts. You are now controlling the thoughts you think. You're now controlling the thoughts that do happen or do come into your mind. But now as a leader, you're not just thinking the thought, but you are leading the thought, which means that you are operating and utilizing these thoughts for purpose. These thoughts are not just thoughts just to be anywhere, but you're utilizing them in the right place at the right time. You're a mental leader. I think that that if I had to uh, connect the the name of this, I would call this level the magician level. That that you would you would be a, magi- a magician, um, and and when I say that, uh, I, I would say because uh, as within, so without, which means that if if you are at this level, level one, that you understand the power of 
mental leadership, right? The power of as within, so without. Number one signifies your ability to have focused intention, which means that as a leader, I'm operating out of intention. I'm not operating out of emotion. I'm not operating out of what could be, what should be. I'm not operating out about what I see in the physical world. I'm operating on focused intention and also concentration. We talked about this last week. Level one also deals with you having to deal with independence. Now, as a mental leader, when I say independence, is that you're building a foundation. You're going to utilize your imagination. You're going to utilize the subconscious mind. You're going to be utilizing all those things, but you don't want to uh, go outside of yourself. When I say independent, I mean being within, not going outside of yourself to rely on something outside of yourself. Why? Anytime you go outside of yourself for anything, so somebody listening to this call right now may say, you know what? I need love. I need attention. I need respect. I need to be, uh, I, 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 I just need to be popular. I need to be famous. Whatever it is that you feel like you need, if you go outside of yourself for that thing, you give that thing power over you. So now every time you need love, every time you need attention, every time you need to be famous, every time you need whatever it is you need, you're going to go outside of yourself, and that thing now has power over you. We must remain independent because we want to not go outside of ourselves but realize that everything we need is already within us and that if we are able to control the inside and begin to work the inside, everything we want from the outside will appear, right? As a level one mental ascension, as a mental leader, you're going to become a visionary thinker, right? You're going to become a visionary thinker, right? You're going to start operating because you're going to be innovative. You're going to be motivated. You're going to be coming into a level of decision-making. Listen, at this level of mental ascension, you're going to be placed with the task of having to make major decisions. Listen, it's, it's good for you to get you a planner, to get a book. Um, those of you, I, I have a manifestation journal if you want to get you a copy in the description below. Um, but get you a planner, get you a book. Begin to start operating and using it. Those of you that are on the digital side, all the phones now come with notes. iPhones have notes. They have a note app. You can start jotting down the ideas, but start decision making. I'm going to I'm going to do a teaching on that on decision making because at level one, at a level one mental ascension, you will be given the task of becoming a decision maker because this is the time where you have to make decisions. Why? Because there's certain things that are going to be open to you. See, at level one, everything is open to you. There's a lot of opportunities. There's a lot of uh, you know new things, new beginnings, new starts. So you're trying to find yourself. You're trying to find out, okay, uh, I have to have some kind of direction on where I want to go, right? So, so, so you want to have a direction on where you're going. You want to know, uh, you know, we're in January of, of 2024. Um, I may have a five-year plan. I may have a three-year plan. I may have a six-month plan. I may have a two-year plan. Wherever it is that you think you're going or that you want to go, you need to start utilizing and putting in a paper, right? You also are going to be a great planner at this level. Now, understand your plan will be adaptable. It will be changes made on that plan. But you got to know where we're going. We can't stay stagnant. We got to keep, we got to move, right? And so in this level of mental ascension, you're going to be in the planning stage. Where am I going? Where am I going to be this time next year? Where am I going to be two years from now? You are going to think, even right now, although you can't see the future, right? Remember, the best way to predict the future is to create it. So that's what we're doing. We're creating it here at level one of mental ascension. We are creating it. 
but but I don't want you to get caught up in the notion of where you are now. I want you to focus on where we're going. I want you to understand that we have a journey to go through. We're, we're creating our journey. We're creating our journey. We're going to be ambitious, right, because we are excited. We are ambitious about uh, this level that we're on. Um, this is a new beginning of, of our lives. I also want you to realize this. Everybody who's listening to me, when we are going through these nine levels of mental ascension, listen to me, I want you to realize that you are always and forever and always and always and always and always, you're going to operate out of your element. Remember? If you don't remember, just go back and listen to the last, uh, the, the, the last, uh, teaching we did on the elements. Whatever your element is, you're going to operate out of that element. So those of you that are listening, if you are an air sign, you're going to operate out of the 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 intellectual, the air the air mo modality, right? If you are a practical earth sign, which means that as you're entering in the level one of mental ascension, you're going to operate out of that element because that's who you are. I can't ask you to do something or ask you to operate something that you're not. So you've got to operate in your element because your element is going to help you become very successful in how you approach the first level of mental ascension, right? This is the level that allows us to focus on us which means that you're going to be able to focus on your thoughts. That's why you're a mental leader. If you can control your thoughts, you can control anything. If you can lead your thoughts, guess what? A leader leads to go somewhere. Nobody is leading just to lead. They're leading because they're going somewhere. There's a purpose. There's a plan for the leadership. As a mental leader, you're leading your thoughts for a reason. There's an intention, there's a destiny, there's a purpose, right? We're going somewhere. The question, my friend, is where are we going? Where are we going? You know, this, this season that we're starting today of new beginnings, right, it, it allows us to begin to feel fresh and new. I'm at the level one level of the secret levels of mental ascension. I'm at level number one. I'm, I'm, I'm very uh, glad about the, the opportunity for new ideas, for new ventures, uh, to go into this mental journey of, of self-discovery and personal growth, right? Because every level that we go to, you're going to discover a new level of yourself. You're going to discover a new vibration, a, a new paradigm, a new shift in your consciousness, right? As you embark on this mental ascension, every level we go up, you should see something transpire in your uh, in your in your dynamic. And when you when you begin to look at that and begin to understand that, you will see how things transpire. Uh, I, I think that in this level one. Of, of mental ascension, I see us breaking away, breaking the chains of limitation, right? Because listen, the only limitation we will ever experience in life, listen to this, the only limitation you will ever experience in life is the limitations in your own mind. Let, let me say that again. The only limitation you will ever experience in life is the limitation of your mind. My friend, there is no limitation. There is no limitation. There is no limitation. I, I think that this is a good time to create good habits. Uh, this is a good time to create uh, good patterns, get some good conditioning in. Uh, this is a good time for us to uh, move into a level of 
of great independency, right? Uh, of somebody who's 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 utilizing their thoughts to create and transcend, right? This is the time to really tap into your creativity, to really begin to set in perspective. Now, all of these things are foundational because if I'm able to lead my thoughts, if I'm able to become a great decision maker, if I'm able to um, deal with uh, my emotions, self-discovery, self-awareness, right? All of these things are foundation because once we get this under wraps, then we can move on to the next level. But first, the first level, it, it allows us to deal with, 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 with these things and it allows us to deal with the core self of who we are. You know, at this level, listen to me, at this level, this level of the first level is allowing us to be selfish a little bit, right? Because this is a level where it's all about us. We can't worry about other people. See, we're building our foundation so that we can go through the nine levels. And so everybody else will be blessed and everybody who's connected us will will feel the, the power and they will get all of the things that come along with it. But at the same time, I got to focus on me. I got to get me together. This is, this, this is the level that deals with me, myself, and I. <laughs> there it is, me, myself, and I. Open-mindedness is very important at this level. How many of us are open-minded to embrace new ideas? It's very difficult to, to embrace some things when you have been uh, brought up in a certain way to think. You know, I posted something on Facebook the other day. I said, uh, be, I said money has ears, so be careful what you say about money. And a lot of us don't realize how much we could be keeping money away from us based on how we were raised to make us think that we didn't deserve money or we didn't have enough money or that we, money didn't like us or maybe we weren't good enough to have money or whatever the case may be. But sometimes you have to have an open mind to be able to embrace new ideas and perspectives. Guess what? Nobody knows everything. Always be willing to learn. Always be willing to to learn something new, to embrace the new idea, a new concept. I love learning. Learning is a wonderful thing. I'm never too good to learn, and I don't know everything. As a matter of fact, I know nothing. Because what I think I know is absolutely nothing. Every day I learn something new. And so my willingness to embrace the new ideas and the new perspectives gives me a new level of myself because I love when I learn something new. I learn when I get new information. I love when there's something that I've never known that I'm able to learn about it. Um, if, if I'm watching television or if I'm looking at social media and I see something that I've never heard before, I jump on it and I study it and I try to learn as much as I can about it because I'm all about learning. I'm all about expanding my level of knowledge. At this level one that we're on, yes, this is the time to open your mind to learn new things. Everybody should be learning about uh, what a trust is and how can I protect my assets and, and how important is having a trust uh, and how important it is to my family to, to have and own a trust, right? Uh, how important is it to start investing in the stock market and having my money work for me and, and, and doing EFTs and beginning to uh, look at uh, options with calls and puts and uh, beginning to invest in the, in the SP500 and, and index funds. And it, it's, it's amazing to learn uh, what is uh, cryptocurrency and what is Bitcoin and, and how is blockchain going to make things easier and all of these things that you may not know about, these are the things that we need to learn about, these things. Because even though I've, I'm, I'm a, you know, a lot of times we're afraid of, of the unknown. We're afraid of things that we don't know about, you know, because now we're dealing with AI. So a lot of people are afraid of AI. 
because AI is this uh, uh, this big demon that's coming and it's going to take over the world. And no, e- AI has become one of my best friends of all time. So when you learn, when you learn, learning is about being open-minded and being able, this is a trait that we all need. If we're going to be able to go to these next levels of, of mental ascension, if we're going to be great manifestors, if we're going to be the to, to be able to manifest and bring it to fruition, we have to be able to apply to great concepts and great ideas. Because guess what? Everybody's going to operate out of their own element, so it's going to happen in a different way. You're not going to learn the same way that I learned. You're not going to operate the same way that I operate. But the same information, the same thing, it's going to benefit you at this level. Mental adaptability will play a very significant role in this level one of mental extension because your mental adaptability will allow you to not be fixed. I don't want to have a fixed mind that whatever I think, whatever I believe, that's it. I can be wrong. Guess what? Whatever I believe, there can be a change in that. There can be an adaptation to that. There can be an amendment added to that. So I want to be in the now. I want to be in the right now. I want to be in the right place at the right time, doing the right thing with the right people. And I can't have a closed mind perspective. And so what I mean by that is, is if, if you are a new thought Christian, if you are a Buddhist, if you are a Muslim, does it hinder me from working with somebody who's not a Muslim? It doesn't hinder me from working with somebody who's not a Christian, who's not a, a, a Buddhist. Doesn't matter because I'm open minded to understand that I'm in the creation plateau. I'm a manifester. I'm not going to allow these things to hinder me from being, doing, and having all that my heart desires. I'm open minded to embrace new concepts, new ideas. I, I think that when we enter into this level one concept, it it brings us into a place where we will look at the ability to lead. You know, in metaphysics, they believe that your thoughts are your disciples and your disciples follow you. You're, You're the leader. And so at level one, you have become a mental leader which means your thoughts, your concepts, your theories, your philosophies, your understandings. These are the things that are vital. These are important. These may seem like nothing to you, but when we get to level seven and eight and you are closed-minded and you are, uh, you have, uh, cemented your philosophies, your theories, your, and you haven't learned how to integrate. You haven't learned how to adapt. You haven't learned. It can stagnate you and not allow you to really operate in your full potential. Not allowing yourself to gain new insights and, and, and new concepts about yourself. We are all evolving and growing. We are evolving and growing, evolving and growing. I I think that um, at the level one uh, concept, uh, it's very important because it sets the stage for what's to come. I think that a level one, you're 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 going to move in a place that's going to be very lonely because you're not incorporating anybody else. This is about you and you by yourself. You're not talking to anybody about what you're doing. You're not confiding in anybody else. You're, you're kind of moving by yourself. You're kind of operating by yourself and doing things by yourself. And even in that, this level of this level one uh, allows you to set the stage It allows us 
to to take these concepts and ideas and connect the dots to gain a deeper understanding of ourselves, to gain a deeper understanding of our purpose, to gain a deeper understanding. This level one of mental ascension, this level one is where you turn off your five senses. Yes. Level one is where you cut the five senses off. You are operating out of everything from a spiritual connotation. I'm listening with my spiritual ears. I'm looking with my mind's eye. I'm speaking with the spiritual mouth, with the spiritual connotation. I'm operating. I can feel in the spiritual realm. Everything is 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 in the is in the spiritual realm. Nothing is of the physical realm. I've blocked out everything physical. What I can see, touch, taste, taste or smell, everything. Everything on level one starts off the spiritual side, right? Because if I can master that, oh my God, what's coming is going to be greater than what's been. To be able to overcome challenges, you know. Uh, Einstein says that whenever you have a problem, never deal with the problem at the level it came to you on. But watch this. You're going to extend your level of consciousness before you attend to that problem. When I was a little boy, my mother used to get so mad at me. She used to say, you know what, I can't even talk to you right now because I'm so angry with you. She would wait till she calmed down and then deal with me, right? And I know maybe because, you know, on that level, but what she didn't realize is that what she had to do is wait till she had elevated her level of consciousness so that she wasn't dealing with me on the same level that the problem existed on. You're never going to be able to find the solution to the problem at the same level, but anytime you raise your level of consciousness, that's where you begin to shift whatever it is that you're in. That's the key. It's the level of ascension, raising your level of ascension. Listen, those of you that, that studied with us when we um, were teaching out of the Millionaires uh, Bible, uh, the, 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 um, the, the uh, Millionaires of the Bible series, and, uh, we, and every time something major happened, it, periodically it was about because they shifted to a higher level of consciousness, and it shifted the dynamic of everything that was going on in their life. Anybody listening to me right now, and you need a shift in your life, you need an upgrade, you need something to happen in your life, ascend your level of consciousness. It's time to ascend. I put this, I declare and decree this into existence now, that everybody listening to the sound of my voice, if you allow yourself to ascend in your level of consciousness, there is, it is impossible for your life to stay in the same position that it's in. It's impossible. Your life has to change. It has to ascend. It has to grow to a higher level. And as a mental alchemist, level one is the level of new beginnings. This is the level of a new beginning, this level of ascension. You are the magician because the, the, the reason why I call you the magician is because the magician, because if, 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 if this is how spirit gave it to me, in level one, we are blocking out the physical ramifications, right? We understand that we are manifested. We understand that this is mental resurrection. We understand that we're mental alchemists. Listen to this. I saw the tarot card of the magician. And what it showed me is as you are in level one, which you are, you have one hand up and you have one hand pointing down. As it is in heaven, so shall it be on earth. As it is in consciousness, so shall it be in my physical manifestation. Level one, you have become the magician. You have the ability to create anything you need in this dynamic. 
You have that ability. You have that ability to create any and everything in your, through your decision making, through the the being motivated, being innovative, being ambitious. This is the level of the builder. This is the level of making major decisions. This is the planning level. What's the plan? What is the plan? We got to make the plan. This is the time to write. Writing is the first level of manifestation. Guess what? We're on the first level. This week, if you can't, get you a plan to start writing. Start writing your mental ideas, your mental concepts, what it is that you want to discover this year. If there's a trip you want to go on, write down the trip that you want to go to. Write down the money that you want to uh, manifest. Write down the things that you want to put in fruition. This is the time to do it. Um, and level one is the ability to build a solid foundation. Guess what, my friends? Your foundation is not physical. Your foundation will be spiritual. It cannot be broken by the 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 hands of man it cannot be stolen by the hands of man that which is in, in unseen is eternal in the heavens that which is seen is temporary why everything in our physical world has a beginning and an end it's temporary but that which is eternal which is spiritual <laughs> is eternal there is no beginning there is no end and so i my friend Say to you, as we move from this first level of mental ascension and we get ready to elevate and move to the next level, let's move into a deeper understanding of ourselves. Let's become great decision makers. Let's become open-minded. Let's become great problem solvers. Let's become, uh, let's enhance and increase our level to connect the dots and move to a greater level, a greater plateau. Let us also move and ascend to a higher level in our lives, financially, spiritually, healthy, in our family, relationships, every aspect of our lives. We are shifting. And so I want to thank all of you for listening to this teaching today. I hope that you got something out of it. Listen, um, mental ascension is a very powerful asset that we have. These nine levels that we're going to be going through is going to be phenomenal. Listen, if this has blessed you, please like, please share, please subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. Um, I want to encourage all of you to take the time and really work with this stuff, really work with the mental ascension. I'm telling you, I, I want to hear some testimonials. Because if you start operating and moving in your level of ascension, you're going to see your life change in, a, in an amazing way. We're talking about phenomenal possibilities can transpire as your mind begins to ascend from the level that it is to the level that you want it to be. And so I thank you for allowing us to give you this teaching today. Listen, those of you that are listening, um, we're excited about uh, you guys tuning in and being a part of this, um, you know, um, as we move into this new year, this new plateau, this new uh, season that we're in. It, it's amazing to us that we really, really stay focused and stay connected and really stay in a state of mind and a state of consciousness that will allow us to learn more of who, are, who we are. I think when you learn who you are, the power that you have within you, I, I think that you will be somebody who can never be stopped, who can never, uh, uh, self-awareness, self-discovery is something that, that all of these things fall under level one because level one is the foundation. Now, next week when we get ready to move into level two, we'll deal with some other aspects of level two 
where level two would start to evolve some other patterns and different things in life. But level one, let us master this week. Let us begin to chime into level one. Go back and listen to this again and allow this to sink in and really understand some of the things that I've been saying. Because even simplistically as they may sound, go back and listen to them again. Sometimes spirit will allow you to hear things that you didn't hear before and give you a deeper understanding of the things that you heard me say today so that you can really transpire and really take in what has been said. And so it is. I, um, I, I thank all of you for listening in. Um, those of you that want to be a blessing to the Temple of Enlightenment International Spiritual Center um, and you want to give your donations and give your seeds, um, we are forever grateful. We believe in circulation. We believe that whatever you release out of your hands, it will circulate. It will go back to its original point of origin. And we speak it into existence that whatever you give, that you will receive it in a 100-fold return. Um, we speak it into existence also that um, we are operating with the 26. Two represents the duality. It represents the subconscious and the conscious mind. It represents the inward and the outward. It represents as above, so below. It represents the duality. And the six represents the, the, the responsibility. It represents the family dynamic. It represents us being able to have the ability and the responsibility to be manifestors and to bring into fruition. Two plus six gives us eight, which gives us the manifestation number. And if you look at the number eight, the number eight has a zero on top and a zero on the bottom, as above, so below, right? Check this out. If you look at the magician tarot card, you will see the number eight turned sideways sitting on top of the magician's card, right, in the tarot deck, right? And he has one hand pointing up and one hand pointing down, as above, so below, right? As it is in heaven, so shall it be on earth. Manifestation. And that's what we, my friends, we're all about manifestation. We're all about creating our own reality. And so we want to thank you, those of you that want to sow more than $26 or donate more than $26, you're more than welcome to. Somebody may be saying, I don't have $26. Whatever it is that you have, whatever it is that you want to give or sow, believe it or not, circulation, it will come back to you at a 100-fold return. We speak it into existence, and so it is. Uh, there's three ways that you can give. Uh, we also have them in the description on this uh, page, but you can also give at Cash App, dollar sign, T-O-E-S-C, that's dollar sign, T-O-E-S-C, is our Cash App. Uh, we also have Zelle, and we also have PayPal. If you guys want to give on any one of those, uh, it's going to be our email, which is info, I-N-F-O, at T-O-E-S-C dot org. Once again, that's info at uh, T-O-E-S-C dot org, and that's our email. You can use it for either PayPal or Zelle, any one of those that want to give on any one of those platforms. Uh, you're more than welcome. We want to thank all of you for tuning in, uh, taking the time out of your schedule for this great Sunday, and we're excited. We want you to know that your labor is not in vain. We are forever grateful. I want to thank you and let you know that your destiny is not a matter of chance, but it's a matter of choice. And yes, is a car bay, myself, me, me, myself, and I, I want you to know from the bottom of my heart that I love you and there's nothing you can do about it.